What's going on guys and welcome back to automation. So I wasn't really planning on this in all honesty um, I had 10 cars planned out for season 2 so this episode since it's unplanned is gonna be pushing one of those cars to season 3 I don't know which yet but it seemed that this was commonly wanted once it was uh, accidentally displayed in the noble video so screw it let's make one god it's just uh, wow, so I think that you know that the body style is 1960. So let's let's make it like a 65. Yeah, nah, 64. That sounds more organic. So I don't think this would have anything good on it, just to be honest. Yeah, we'll make it rear wheel drive, and then we'll just do um yeah two solid axle coils. That's that's gonna be smooth as butter. All right, now I'm I'm really curious about what I can fit in this. Like I don't think I could fit like a V8, right? Like, there's no way. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Could I fit a tiny V? No. <laughs> Not even possible. Alright, V6. A V6 could fit a 0.6 liter V6. Creme de la creme. What if we just stuck a massive inline 3 in there? Wait, what? Alright, what if we did a V60? Oh my gosh. <laughs> there's literally no room to work. Okay, a boxer straight up won't even fit. So the options are like an inline, th okay, an inline four won't fit either. So the options are an inline three or a V6. I say V6. At least in a V6, there will be a little bit of more spunk than the same displacement in an inline three. I don't know. I, 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 I'm not even sure what I'm going for here. I just, I don't, I feel like if I make it, you know, crap, then, I mean, it's going to be crap, but... I want to try and get like as much power as I can. I don't think I can fit an engine a whole lot bigger than this in there to begin with. So, all right, I'm just gonna do that, I guess, for now. Four barrels of car. A four barrel car. A race intake. Somehow that fits. I'm kind of shocked. That seems a little over overkill though. So we'll do two and a single and standard. Yeah, that, that's a bit more appropriate. And low quality. I mean, if you can fit the car in a suitcase, it probably shouldn't be sucking up premium. Alright, I'll come back to this. Um, let's do a short cast. Whoa, get a little ambitious with the length of the exhaust there, aren't you? The car is already, like, the size of that engine. Like, this would just be dragging along the asphalt. I think we need dual exhaust. I mean... The amount of performance we got going on here, you know, we're gonna we're gonna really need it. Oh yeah, three horsepower. It's perfect in every way, as as all of my cars are. All right, so first off, I'm just gonna get this somewhere decent. So 7200, okay. And then we'll play with other things for a moment. And then let's go back, play with the compression. All right, this is interesting. 29 horsepower. But I mean, to be fair, I mean, I can kind of keep in mind the fact that this thing's gonna weigh like six pounds. All right, there we go. There we go. Get the compression up a little bit. Wait, I saw 35. Where was it? There it is. 35. Okay. Now running at 91, and we got 92 in there. What could we do with super leaded? Eventually, I'm gonna have to ask why am I trying so hard to squeeze so much, you know, unpracticality out of this thing? Okay, I know there was 37. I just had 37. There it is. Wow, is that really worth the that? I mean, if you can fit the car in a suitcase, it probably shouldn't be sucking up premium you know I'm gonna say yeah it, it is I I think I yeah definitely worth it yeah that had about the effect I was expecting <laughs> all right well that was pretty quick I mean there wasn't really a whole lot I could do with it but what does it sound like doesn't sound like what it's gonna look like when it's done <laughs> That much is certain. I mean, the thing is, though, how much is it going to weigh? How much does the engine weigh already? 147.1 pounds. Yeah, we have some room to work with. 235 bucks to make it. That's not... That's not awful. I'll tell you what is going to be awful, though, and that's... That's the rest of the car. <laughs> What's the difference? Oh, it crashes. <laughs> one of them breaks the game and one of them doesn't. Well, at least, if nothing else, this game is, uh... P pretty pretty good with auto saves so yeah or it's just gonna drop us right here <laughs> all right so yeah I'm not clicking on that one again that one's just just break things nothing to adjust so I guess we'll just have to go right into it all right well this is actually moving along quite quite quickly it's actually kind of worrying this is gonna this might be a really short video <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> it's 
it's just it's too cute it's way too cute just one giant headlight that's what we need that's perfect now let's um I could just like do something really weird and just try and make it look modern <laughs> like oh yes it is the future <laughs> I'm just gonna say if the future looked like this I don't want any part of it no it's 1964 okay yeah we're not having that oh yes this is what I want this right here where even does the engine go in this thing like there's no way it would realistically fit at least not the one we made yes this is what I want right here bear with me here I know this is a bad idea but just stick with me for a second um that kind of does the trick I don't know what I'm thinking that looks perfectly fine I guess okay oh wait it's trying to tell me the engine is just dead fucking sinner Wow, yeah, that's, that's the great place. Hey, where's the engine in your car? Oh yeah, no, it's under my seat. It just goes right up my asshole whenever I hit a speed bump. This seems like a fitting license plate. <laughs> All right, it's coming together wonderfully. Now what badge would I put on this? It's gotta be something that takes itself way too seriously. What even is that? You know, uh, first off, I need, I'm not even sure like what brand I'm thinking of this being for. Like, I have absolutely no idea what this is gonna be. I think I'm just gonna name it the uh, the deluxe. Wait, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna name it the Deluxo Box. That's a. It's a wonderful name. <laughs> just never gonna write it on the back. <laughs> It'll take way too long. And uh, we'll give it some really serious-looking logo, like uh, like this this eagle. <laughs> it's so. It's such a stupid little car. It's so tiny. It like it's ridiculously tiny. Exhaust tip. I'm doing this all out of order, but that's okay. Yeah, that looks fine, I guess. <laughs> Should we make it one? Let's do <laughs> just do one and two. Oh gosh, that works. Yeah, because it it's gonna need dual exhaust for all this all its performance. Door handle. I don't really think there's anything more fitting than this one. <laughs> what else can I do to the front though? I feel like it needs something else. I would something like cheese. Oh god, <laughs> looks like Squidward. <laughs> Somehow that looks substantially less bad, to be honest. Don't get me wrong, it still looks awful. Maybe I should just, you know, stop trying to add things and just, just let, just leave well enough alone. Why do I want to do this so badly now? It looks horrible. Oh, wow, what? Uh, this looks fantastic. There's literally nothing wrong with this design. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're going to put little indicators in this spot in the corner instead. And then we're gonna shrink this down, shrink this down, and make it super wide. Oh yeah, that looks wonderful. I actually think I had something good for a while and I just, I just ruined it. That's not bad. That could be a l <laughs> I actually kind of like this. I don't know why. Like it looks horrible, but I, I, <laughs> there's something about it. I don't even feel like I need to do anything that fancy with it. It's just, it's it, it, it just speaks for itself so so strongly. I do think that it's very important that everyone know it's a V6 though, so I'm gonna include that badging back here. Jeez, it looks like a remote control car. <laughs> we'll put a gas cap right here. That way you can always, you know, fill it up. Would this thing even have mirrors, let alone two? I feel like one would do the trick just fine. But uh, two of those, yeah, that should, that should do it. <laughs> that's, that's not the mirror I'm going with. I'm hesitant to say better, but it, it, it's a little better. Where's another chrome grill piece? That's what I want. All right, yeah, we'll put this along the back. It's a neat little piece of chrome. Yeah, that's kind of cute. It's, it feels so top heavy. I feel like, I need, like I'm obligated to put something up there, you know? <laughs> wow, this is ridiculous. That looks so ridiculous. <gasps> uh, what, have, what am I doing? Like, what have I made? That just absolutely killed, that, that, that makes it so much worse. This, this is, this is a brilliant car. I don't care what you say. I feel like I want to add another vent under the side. I just got to figure out where I want to do it. Well, the funny thing is, is that this is incredibly small on a normal car. <laughs> this piece is, and it's just absolutely giant on this thing. Yeah, there we go. That, that's, I don't think I want that after all. <laughs> all right. Well, there we go. The Deluxo box. Let's, uh, let's put some stuff in it. So rear wheel drive, manual, like, three speed maybe top speed let's get that into the realm of reality uh, uh cross ply oh gosh oh my god look at the look at the width of the tires on the rims medium compound 
Max width. Wow, it almost covers the rim now. Magnesium. Oh yes, magnesium. Offset. You know what? I think that's fine. I also don't think that's the plate I put on the car. Whatever, I can't be bothered to fix things like that. Seats 3, would you believe that? <laughs> Luxury. We want a phonograph in here. Yeah, that's... It is the Deluxo box. <laughs> the tires are narrow. <laughs> Do you think I want it like this? I don't think we need power steering. An advanced safety. Advanced 60 safety even, which, you know... What, is, what does that even include? A lap belt, maybe? <laughs> um... Alright, let's... <laughs> brake force is high. I don't... Okay. Can I make the brakes any worse? Nope. Alright. You know what? That's... That's... That's fine. Uh, it wants less stiff string, strings. Okay, it wants me to increase the top speed setting. I can't do anything about the brakes. And then wheel spin. So adjust the gearing. Okay. Tops. Wow, it's actually capable of 72. 0 to 60 in 25 seconds. It's a rocket ship. I don't even think the understeer is going to be an issue, to be honest. Like, how could it be? Wait, brake force is... Front is low? What the heck? Alright, I, I don't think... A whole lot more is gonna come out of this thing so I think this would be a good time probably to test it I, I also don't think it's actually gonna you know fit into any any one of these categories oh hey they want it for utility they don't even want it it's just more of a eh we'll take it <clears throat> it weighs a thousand pounds so if I go over here take all that stuff out where are we at wait 973 doesn't add a ton but I mean 840? Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, bye-bye luxurious interior. Alright, well that's all I can do. Anyway, so yeah, let's uh, export this thing to Beam and see exactly how bad this thing is. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how, how large the Deluxo box is in its thumbnail? Alright, alright, moment of truth. Oh god. <laughs> It's beautiful. But what does it drive like? That's the question. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait a second. It was trying to take, tell me it took 20 seconds to get to 60. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> what is it? I mean, there's some things it is for sure. I can guarantee you that it's basically a coffin. Look, oh my god. When you break, it literally scrapes on the front. <laughs> it's priceless. All right, let's open her up. I wonder if I could have gotten a higher top speed with more gears. Once it reaches about this speed, it does feel like it's beginning to taper off with its power. Still, I don't know, I, it would take some great bravery to drive this thing at 70 miles an hour. I feel like if I just slam on the brakes right now, the car's just gonna do a front flip. Hold on, ready? Well, it didn't do a front flip, front flip. You know, they said it understeers, but I am really getting oversteer. Whipping down the highway in your little deluxo box. I still find it funny that this gets 10 miles a gallon. Like, there's literally no reason to buy one unless, you know, you want to drive it into an elevator or something, or, you know, something like that. On the bright side, at least it has a reverse gear. I mean, I guess the appeal of it would be that it's eight grand. But then again, is it eight grand, like, in adjusted for, in, like, inflation, or is it, uh-oh. Alright, yeah. Okay. We're good. <laughs> because, like, eight grand in 1964, you know, like, jeez. That, this may not be such good value. Anyway, I know there's, there's one question on everyone's mind right now. I know. I know what you're all thinking. And that's, but can it do Rainbow Road? And, uh, I have to say, yes it can. <laughs> gosh. This is, this is the most jittery thing. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's fine. I don't think it's in quite as good a shape after that little f jump as it let on. But yes, the all-important question is is answered. It can do Rainbow Road. It's doing its absolute best. <laughs> oh god, this suspension is so hard. It literally made me remove like the entire suspension to the point where it's just straight metal. Uh-oh. So in case you were curious, just before we did the lap time real quick, I just wanted to get a little bit of a size comparison. So, we all know that the, uh, the Deluxa box is absolutely tiny. But, uh, 
Did you know it was this tiny? <laughs> it's half a berry long. It's literally so small. Like, the berry is substantially smaller than every other car, and it dwarfs the Deluxo box. It is ridiculous. Sad thing is, is that I'm pretty sure the Deluxo box would absolutely destroy it off the line. Anyway, let's get into uh, the racing position. All right, let's see how well the Deluxo box does around our track. Three, two, one, go. This thing is surprisingly zippy. I feel like it's just gonna fall over in the corners though. It's actually quite scary. <laughs> it sounds like it should be doing a lot more than 60. Oh, <laughs> that's enough to completely tip this thing over. Gotta be careful. All right, all right, not too tight. Oh my gosh, the entire car just started violently shaking. This is a capable little box though, not gonna lie. Like, it, it definitely punches above its weight. My, I got something in my eye, like, halfway around the track, and I am just trying so hard not, like, just to ignore it. My, my right eye is just absolutely on fire right now. <laughs> oh, I tried to open it. It, yeah, nope, still pain. All right, so with, uh, depth perception completely shot, let's see if we can get around this last corner. All right, final stretch. And... Stop. Oh, God, my eyeball. Final thoughts on the car before we go into the lap time. I, it doesn't understeer as much as it says. And it definitely feels quick. Not to mention, oh, I was gonna try and demonstrate that it could go up hills, but apparently it can just go through them. It, it's, 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 it's weirdly competent. It's actually kind of shocking to me. I was really thinking this was just gonna be an absolute piece of garbage, but boy, did it prove me wrong. And honestly, like, yeah, it's got wheel spin, but at the same time, I, I don't know, I find wheel spin fun in cars. Especially if it's not like at a point where you can't manage it. Like, this is easily manageable wheel spin. Albeit, it's also kind of equally terrifying, because I just, it looks so top-heavy, I feel like it's going to tip over at the slightest, <laughs> the slightest thought of going around a corner. Anyway, so, the time. The Deluxe Box has done the track in 2 minutes and 57.66 seconds. So we've got a we've got a little little area now. We have we have the Wallaby on the top, then we have the Deluxo box just smack in the middle, and then the uh, the Nopal sitting there at the bottom, really wishing it had a V6 like the others. <laughs> I don't know. I think this thing actually might have a chance in some of the challenges. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, it's so silly. But yeah, this thing might actually have a chance in some of the challenges. Uh, it's I'll be curious to see how this goes though, cause I don't know. It it it, it might completely fail. I don't think it's gonna do worse than the Nopal. I think it'll be. I think it might end up kind of like the Barry in the Common Trees mode in season one, where the Barry just kind of sat above the Common Trees mode the whole time, but was never really competitive with anything. Then again, this thing's got enough bite to it that it, it might actually it might actually have a chance. I don't know. We'll have to see what the challenges are and what the rest of the cars in the competition end up being. But yeah, with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys think that Alexa box is as cute as I think it is. Tell me, would you would you buy one? Assuming not assuming it was eight grand, but like just you know, assuming you had the money, would would you want one in your garage? That's that's kind of what I'm asking. I think I might. Just even just to have it. It's just stupid. But it, it's it's stupid cute kind of, so <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I will see you guys in the next one.